find some static grass. Just mix, mix in a few. This is some. Uh, this one's a dark too now. I've no idea what I'm doing. I'm just going to see what's happening. Yeah. See what stays on basically. This is just some fine like, it's almost like foliage material which I've been mixing in. So I've got a few different grasses and I'm trying to mix them up before I apply them a little bit. The idea is that I get some sort of a basic texture down. And uh, find it with liquid, you know, like watered down PVA at the moment. It's working quite well so far, I think. Anyway. No idea what the um, static grass applicator is going to do to the cell, we'll see in a minute. to um, scatter under where the pin's been. <laughs> I have to go back and just scatter a bit of uh, loose stuff. Have a go. I'm doing a very small section. I've only got a little, a little um, uh, applicator, which um, just done quite well so far, actually. Seems ideal for where I'm using it. Not up against this backboard. It seems to flick all the um, grass up in the air in all sorts of places, which is why I've got these sheets down. <laughs> There's loads of grass on the wall <laughs> as well. So I don't get very far with this little one, but it does the job. Just hoping I've got enough of this grass, this summer grass, this June, and I looked online and couldn't find it. But this is the biggest bag of static grass. I bought it cheap as a base coat, so it was only like a tenner or something. Um, you know, like, it was the main bulk of whatever I do. I've got um, some of them CDs playing in the background from the, like a garden centre. It's like a storm, a rainforest type thing. So that's what you can hear in the background. Hopefully the um, YouTube monitors don't pick up on it. Or whatever. Who's to say it wasn't something else anyway? Could be anything, couldn't it? Could be a bit of outside. Let's see. Be very funny the YouTube on when I used to make videos properly. I used to get all sorts of um, random notifications from YouTube and the songs that I've chosen to put on. Back in those days I was in lane putting them on them um, putting the CDs, like the trucks with the CDs on. Side. They look kind of grey, but um, everywhere else the white's really showing through because they're only like plaster and clay. I'm gonna have to move the pin now. I don't know how, how far the um, the uh, voltage passes through the water, if that makes sense. Only double A batteries, so I imagine it's not that far. Although I've seen a nine volt battery self combustor component once, which is quite quite amusing. It was being used to make a a uh, windmill spin. You know, like one of those kit windmills. Not there. It had been uh, 
left unattended and one that it was um, shorting out and it kind of just set itself on fire. It's hilarious. In retrospect. moving you. This is obviously my phone and recording on so I apologise for the clamps picture. Finish the end with the tunnel on video, which might be a long video, and, uh, and then slightly afterwards I will post a video of the finished basic grass work. Now I've also been throwing some, I've got some somewhere, what have I done with it now? Um, this, this orange bag is full of uh, Woodman Scenic soil, which I'll just randomly throw on in hope that it might stay. Kind of. It might stay, it might not. It depends if it gets through to the um, to the base layer, I suppose, of, of glue. But that's where I've scattered it on. It's really helping to break up the um, the one colour. If that makes sense. There's a little ruffle there. It's on purpose making it rough there. But there is some paint on the back seam, which will be covered up by. Um, the foliage of trees and bushes that I put on there later on. All just touched out again. This pin is a, uh, I think it's something off a piece of furniture. It's quite, quite a sturdy thing. It's a, uh, the trouble is it, with the, all this trouble with um, other things, other things, you need quite a long pin because the clip pushes down and away, kind of. So yeah, it gets a bit annoying. Load up the uh, applicator again. Slightly better, isn't it? Oh, it's fell over. I was trying to get the applicator on the area in the same picture, if that makes sense. I've clipped up some of this stuff that's already on the paper. I'm at the base of the wall, where the signal box will sit whatever buildings I decide to put there on the end. And a bit of a mixture again. I'm doing this to bulk out what I have got as well because I don't want to run out halfway through the other boards. If that makes sense. It might look a bit weird because um, the first bit I did by the station is all summer grass with a bit like sprinkled on top of it. Hopefully it won't too look too odd. I might have to go over it again. See how much I've got left. Like, I don't really intend to get any more of this static grass because I don't think I'm going to be building any more layouts of this size at home. So whatever I've got left will probably cover me for all my projects that I do here at home or whatever. Break it up a bit, and off we go again. Pull this wire out of the way. What I would say is that it would probably benefit if this 
sieve had a cage on the other side as well, because <laughs> most of it's getting pushed out the top for some reason. What I might try and do is turn you around so you can sort of see the chaos that's going on. That way. So what the plan is is to cover. I need to make some more of that quickly. Um, the tunnel mouth area. Just half covered by paper at the moment. But I'm going to go over up the top, then I'll reposition the paper on the other side. Give me a second. We'll make some more glue. So I'm kind of new to this scale of static grass in, in terms of the amount I'm covering. Usually it's just a small panel or a small piece of uh, ground. You see the, the appeal to having a much bigger strainer, if that makes sense. But in terms of, I wanted this one because it was, it's quite close to the um, backboard, all the bits that I'm doing, so I had that in mind when I bought it. fancy about what I'm doing, I'm just watering down PVA. I know you can't see it because I'm lazy and got to turn the camera around. I suppose I could have brought the stuff over there but I'm not that smart. So I'm just mixing it up with a paintbrush. I don't get through many paintbrushes. I've got people, particularly at the Model Railway Club I go to, some of them are terrible. You just find rock hard paint brushes. Um, yeah, where we store the paint brushes. It's just annoying. No idea why they do it. it. Doesn't take five minutes to wash a brush out at the end of what you're doing. This brush has probably been used say like 150 times. <laughs> it's still the same brush, it's still just as good. Here. I'll sprinkle a bit more of this dirt down, the soil. It's kind of wicked at it. It's working quite well actually. Look more like hills with the different tones of colour. This help a lot. Well, I think it is. And that's what matters. Probably shouldn't be doing this, but I, just, I like the scenic bit. I like making the scenery and doing that sort of stuff. So, this is what I'm doing today is static grassing. The basics. Um, static graph it comes out in big clumps, you have to break it up, it's annoying. But it's doing the job. Patch of grass at this end. Right, okay, let's have another go. I 
I'm not sure whether the stuff on the backboard that's dropping down is um, still static. You know, I've got too close to the water there. And it's gone. Pew. Yes, that is what it does. It goes pew. It doesn't arc. That's too technical. It goes pew. Try and uh, I need to reposition the camera now, don't I? Again. So what I need to do is do the other side. So that's gonna move, that's gonna move, that's gonna move. Is it just the paper gonna move? Might, your camera might be alright there. I'm gonna have to kind of force it in somehow. Move that building out of the way. Right. If I push that into the tunnel out, like that, that might give me enough room to work. Yeah, that'll do. Can you still see all right? Yeah. Talking to myself though, because you've all got bored and walked away. I'm sure there's an interesting cat or a funny girl bouncing around somewhere. I don't blame you. So this is a different style of video. I've not really done anything while I'm doing a job, I'm talking along. Maybe I've got internet here now, so maybe next time I do a interesting job or think I think might be interesting to uh, somebody watching. <laughs> you can't see the the blues ran all one to the rocks at the bottom there. Just cover them up with the uh, paper when I do do the um, pressing. And remember to pull it off. That's a lot of paper stuck to the rocks. Mm, a big lake forming at the bottom. We're just going to get something to soak that up quickly. Um, put the paper into it. No way, that's not working. Two seconds. The landform is made up of uh, paper mache basically and uh, the covering is plaster bandage that you get from Bobby Black. It's just like mod rock but a lot fucking cheaper. Oh sorry. <laughs> It's much cheaper. Of course, I was talking about flocking then, not, not anything else. Might be extremely dull for you to watch, I have no idea. Uh. Go with that. Well, it might be a bit hard because there's a board up here. So I chose a nice strong pin so it'll pin in. Pretty much anything. Let's wet this down a bit more. And off we go again. What I would say about this particular applicator, there's no like indicator light on it. It doesn't seem to be.
I thought that was a little hole for an indicator light, maybe it's just like slid inside. Let's not worry. So one again, we'll move it along. Let's cover that bit where it's uh, where the clip was. And as usual, as routine, throw some brown stuff down on the other side. Hopefully, it goes through and uh, penetrates. If not, I'll have to come up with some other kind of go at it. This bit is kind of key, the key to the economy entry of the tunnel, isn't it? So you gotta make sure it looks alright. Probably lose all this under foliage eventually and stuff like that, but you know. We'll carry on. Oh god, half, half a ton of it just came out of it. <laughs> Let's just, uh, just ignore that bit. That's because the wire's getting in the way. And again. And I suppose that's why you don't load it all the way up. a bit. Plop a bit now. Bit of non-static grass on the static hillside. So it's all been blown over. It's all right. <laughs> Might you can see the dark patch. You can see there. It's one of the rocks about halfway up the hill. You might have to paint that up a bit, you know, so it can be seen as a rock. I'm learning. So what I'm going to do is remove that first sheet so you can see this end. And it will look good, hopefully. Uh, let's move it away. Put this behind the camera. We'll take the static, static grass applicator. 
remove that as well. I'll take the batteries out of that quickly. So we can't drain the batteries or set anything on fire or whatever. Um, okay, that battery is still there. It's difficult to get out. And we'll just tip that up that way. And we'll be able to see, hopefully. Got a nice grassy tunnel mouth area. And we'll stand back here. You see that? Uh, sorry, not the plastic, it's that bit that you just left at the tunnel. It's a big white patch of plaster which has been missed. Well, the paint hasn't adhered to, and I've um, Washed it over with watered down acrylic. So I'll need some treatment. But for now, we'll just scatter some of the soil. Get that all down there. I feel like that Rob Roy, or is it the the uh, the, um, the painter that's on on the TV? Oh, that looks good. That does. It's coming together. I see most of this soil is going to blow out. Slightly lighter patches, or darker patches. So, what do we think? I'll just show you the tunnel mouth at this point because, um, so I'll, I'll put another video up of the, the rest of it. So, most of this is going to hoover off. I don't want to hoover it just yet because I might just take all the grass off. <laughs> You see my buffer stops, I've got to blend those in somehow. But that's, um, once I've done the rest of the layout, pretty much, and you can't really see because of all the bags in the paper, of these two boards, these, well, two boards, it's actually four boards. That's three big boards and one little one. I've got to build that cattle dock over there on a platform of some sort which I don't want to do any more over there so uh, yeah I'll come back to you with a, um, a bit a bit of a more of an overview of the whole area that I've um, attacked if you like so I hope you enjoyed the video and I'll see you another day